Good morning, folks. You're watching the magnetosphere weakening over the last few hundred years. Where climate scientists accurately measure relatively unchanging solar irradiance, they may have forgotten that our protective interface with energy from space is not what it used to be in terms of blocking the sun or cosmic radiation on the night side. Well, here's the Earth from Cassini's vantage point around Saturn. Lots of such pictures will be released here soon. Terrific star water related article linked for you below this video. The death toll from the China earthquake is nearing 100. Since then, the scariest rumbles were a brief swarm in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean and a South Indian Ocean tremor matching the Prince Edward's quake in those south of South America. You remember our favorite buoy from the video Disturbance Under the Ocean? Well, just north of this geological mine screw is Mount Merapi. Volcanic activity has sent locals scrambling to get off the mountain while the long spewing mud volcano nearby is officially being blamed on an earthquake trigger. Those who know the weather recognize this as the first real tropical wave candidate we've seen this season. I think this might deserve higher than 40% developmental probability. We'll watch this one. Quick watches for today are still far east and west down in the southwest Pacific. The low cresting the UK and France is bringing major storms across the continent and tonight the air will rush north to the convergence line and up to the low pressure cell in Canada while cooler, drier air is curled down to meet the convergence line from the north. Watch zone should probably extend further along the meeting of air masses. Solar wind is relatively quiet on both Soho and here on ACE. KP index shows we're all green. After yesterday's sunspot slowdown, the flares calmed further as well. There are three active regions notable on the Earth-facing disk. Up north, cresting out of sight and still lacking magnetic mixing. We had the mixing of a delta spot down south, but it has spread and lost complexity. New spot up north needs more time to become visible. Folks, all Earth's connectivity is still in that coronal hole. Interesting that yesterday, six bunched on the left side while four occupied the right half, whereas today, another has joined the bunch to make seven hanging on to that opening in the corona, with three out front. It's tough to imagine they will all stay within this departing feature in the coming days. Regardless, the central corona hole has already set her stream at Earth, and we expect that in two to three days. Top left, you see a gap in the corona. This is the thin edge of another corona hole cresting the limb now. I hope that helps you see why corona holes appear dark due to lack of coronal particle detection, but that it's not a hole all the way down into the sun. It's easy to dream a dream, folks, but it's harder to live it. It's a big week for me. I'm hoping to redefine dedication, work ethic, news reporting, and I'll humbly take as much advice from this invaluable collective as I can. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.